Hello and welcome. This is Rafi. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a subdomain, how you can install WordPress on the subdomain to start your website, how you can install themes from the WordPress theme library, and how you can import demo data of the theme template so that your website will look beautiful. So first of all, I'd love to start the video by demonstrating what is a main domain and what is a subdomain. So as you can see here, gsmbaby.com. This is an example of a main domain but if you just take a look at rafi.gsmbaby.com this is a subdomain of gsmbaby so rafi is the subdomain so many websites you are going to see for instance let's say upwork.com fiber.com these are main domains but they have help.upwork.com support.fiber.com these are subdomains so subdomains are being used for different purposes on different websites and as a freelancer you can create multiple websites under one single domain using the subdomains to practice to show or build your portfolio to show you have created multiple websites to your clients so many of the hosting providers provide this subdomain feature for instance i am using hostinger and if you just take a look at premium web hosting and business web hosting package you are going to notice you'll be able to create 100 subdomains under one single hosting package one single domain same for this package as well 100 subdomains so that you can create multiple version of websites and so on so let me show you how you can save money if you're interested to purchase hosting from hostinger the process is simple let's say if you would love to purchase this hosting or you can apply this code to any of the hosting packages, whatever you want. So the longer the time period you are going to choose, you're going to save more money. For instance, just take a look here on this package, you're going to save $264. But with this package, you're going to save $528. And you're going to get this hosting for four years. Now, let me show you a promo code here. So under this section, have a uh, coupon code. Currently, the cost is 191 US dollars. But if you add the promo code, let's say AJ Rafi, this is my promo code. Click on apply. Here we go. It has turned to 178 US dollars for four long years. All right. So this is how you can save money on Hostinger hosting purchase. Now, let me sign into my Hostinger account and let me show you how we can create a subdomain. All right, so here I am inside my Hostinger account. Now I have to go to this website section and then we are going to find few websites that I have already hosted under the hosting package. So to create a subdomain, we have to choose any of these websites. So I'd love to go with this one. So I'm going to click on manage. And after that, we're going to find this domains option. So let's click on this and you're going to find a few more options that main domain, subdomains, Park domains and redirect so as our intention is to create subdomains we're going to click on this subdomains option after that we have to enter our subdomain name for instance i'm going to provide Acharul as an example so the domain name will be acharul.gsmbaby.com and Acharul is going to be the subdomain of gsmbaby.com now i'm going to create a custom folder for this subdomain so that all the website data will be placed under this folder so i'm going to put the folder name Ajharul and let's click on create all right subdomain created successfully and if you just take a look we have got our subdomain added here now it's time to install wordpress on the subdomain to start creating our website so let's do this and to create a website simply we have to click on this websites option it is going to show us few of the options so basically we have to go with this auto installer option so let's select auto installer after that we have to choose the cms that you would love to go with so as our intention is to create a wordpress website we're going to select wordpress after that it's time to provide our website credentials so i'm going to provide Arj Harul's website as an example and here's the administrative email so you can provide your email address here so i'm going to keep my email then here is the administrator username and the password. So this is the username which you have to provide on the uh, WordPress login page. So I'm going to type out, let's say, Ajharul, for instance, and the password, I'm going to choose a random password here. 
all right after that you have to click on this advanced option so that you can choose the subdomain installation path so yep i'm going to choose the subdomain installation path to ajharul.gsmbaby.com and make sure you are not entering any information here in this sub directory option all right now you can create a database for this website simply click here and click on create new database and i'm going to provide a password for this database as well which is this one after that we have to click on next now we can select the version of the software so if i click here we'll be able to see what are the versions available so i'd recommend using the latest one and then you can choose the language from here if you want you can change the language to some of the available languages so i'd love to go with english and after that keep them as they are simply click on install and it is going to start installing wordpress onto the domain name so that we'll have our very own website under the subdomain so let's wait while it is working all right so our website has been created and as you can see we have got an ssl certificate added on the website as well which is really fantastic and we have got the forced https the secured version enabled as well to start customizing the website we can simply click on edit website here and it is going to take us to the website backing direct directly so let's just wait here we go now we can click on got it here and after that if we click on preview website we're going to see our very basic website with a basic template now we can install a theme we can import demo data and you can start customizing on the website and i'm going to show you how so first of all i'd love to show you how we can sign into this website from any other browser so for instance i'm going to take you to incognito mode after that i'm going to visit this website ajhol.gsmbaby.com and here we go now to sign in simply you have to provide this slash then wp admin and hit enter it is going to take us to the login page of this wordpress website now we have to provide our username and we have to provide our password in this field and click on login and here we go we are inside the wordpress backend or wordpress dashboard so let's start making the change I'm going to take you here on appearance then go to themes and from here we'll be able to select any of these themes or we can add a new theme to our website so let's add a new theme by clicking here on this add new after that I'd love to go with Astra but if you have any other theme in choice then you can simply make a search here and the theme will be appeared all right so I'd love to go with Astra so I'm going to click on install and inside Astra, we're going to find hundreds of templates. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. So now it's time to activate these templates. I'm gonna, or theme, so let's click on activate. And now I'd love to install the starter templates plugin. So I'm gonna click on get started here. And it is going to activate the Astra's starter template package. All right now getting started with starter templates we are going to scroll a bit down we're going to find this build your website now button let's click on this we have to choose a theme builder page builder so we're going to select elementor as i love using this tool so let's go with this after that you're going to find all the website templates that supports elementor and if you just notice some of them are free for instance this one is free this one this one these are free but this one has a premium tag that means we have to pay some money to use this theme so let me show you how we can install a theme and input demo data so let's select this one and we can start adding our logo we can adjust the logo etc but i'd love to skip them so let's click on skip and continue from this page you'll be able to choose your color scheme you can choose the fonts and other details of your website but i'd love to skip them so let's click on continue after that you have to provide your name email and some other details to start working so i'm gonna type out my name here then the email address then i am an intermediate and i'm gonna create a website for myself and then i don't love to check this one i don't love to get any newsletter from from them so it's okay and keep 
all of these checked then click on submit and build my website let's click on this and it is going to start installing the required plugins themes data forms etc on the website and it is going to curate all the content of the website template into our website which is going to look beautiful which we can start customizing by providing our own details our clients details to make it working for us so let's just wait while it is working for us all right so it's already done and it is going to redirect us within like seconds here we go congratulations our website is ready if i view our website now if i click here you're going to see a beautiful website appearing here right so this is an e-commerce website by seeing this bag we can see now how we can customize data of this website the process is very simple as you have installed or chosen the elementor plugin so if I click on this edit with Elementor button right here, it is going to open up the editing panel of this website. And now we'll be able to make necessary changes. For instance, let's say instead of Earth, I'd like to write something else. Let's say Ajharul. And that's it. If I click on this update button right here, this update button, right? So now if I visit this website, from asheral.gsmbaby.com you can see that the change has been appeared here so wh whoever going to visit this website they're going to see all the chains or whatever change you're going to make on this website so this is it guys now you'll be able to do a whole lot of stuff on your website and you can basically manage everything of your website from here uh, from these options right so i believe you have found this video helpful but if you have got any further question please feel free to let me know by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos like this one thank you so much for watching this one have a good day bye bye